in the spirit. But still no barge playing in a room with toy soldiers. Not one of these generic toy soldiers that you buy off the shelf, not one that comes in a package with other toy soldiers, but a uniquely designed, a uniquely class, a uniquely crafted toy soldier. Made not out of plastic, but out of real strong wood. It was a beautiful toy soldier that it was obvious that somebody had taken the time to hand carve and hand create and hand make and hand paint and bless this toy soldier. And this little boy sat on the floor in the spirit playing with his toy soldier. In the room was his father. Watching his beloved son playing with the beloved toy soldier. Stay with me, if you please. Knock comes on the door, and father goes to the door and opens up the door, and there standing is an older man at the door. I see him in the spirit. He has been he has been wrecked and wounded and sketched by time. And he says to the man, he says, he says, I come. I don't mean to disturb you. I don't mean to bother you. I don't mean to be out of place. I don't mean to be rude. And, and maybe this is not a good time, but I had to pick some time because it was time for me. Mm. God says, well, I don't know. How well, can I help you, sir? And he looks at the man looks over his shoulder and sees this little boy on the floor playing with the toy soldier. And he says to the father, I came here, sir, in order to bring back home that which belonged. Y'all not playing with me. Come on. It belonged to me. Man is disturbingly at, at the stranger. And he says to him, I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't know what you're saying. He said, well, he said, I see that little boy over there. He said, yeah, that's my son. How, how can I help you, though? And he says, well, I didn't come here for your son, and I had not come here for you. I only came here to get the toy soldier that your son has, and he's playing with it right now. But the father, of course, was concerned about that. And he said, that toy soldier, he said, sir, oh, what rights do you have to the toy soldier. And the gentleman looks at the father and says, that toy soldier belongs mm. to me. Mm. Right? The father knows that he did not buy this for his son. He knows that he did not make this for his son. He knows that he did not have the ability, nor did his son have the ability to craft such a uniquely fine toy soldier as the one his child is playing with. And he suspects in his mind that maybe it doesn't belong to his son. Now we have a dilemma. Now we have a problem. Now the, the, the stage is set for a confrontation, for a conflict. Because the little boy is pleased with the soldier. The little boy loves the toy soldier. And as a matter of fact, of all of his toys, he does not pay them nearly as much attention as he pays to the toy soldier. And he's excited about it every day. He, he walks with the toy soldier, talks with the toy soldier, lives with the toy soldier, sleeps with the toy soldier, wakes up with the toy soldier, takes the toy soldier up and he takes the back. But he gets ready to go to school, takes the toy soldier, and puts it into something how it is. We take ownership of something that don't belong to us. Lord, have Forgive me, Lord. Is this something how quickly we, we become endeared to something that we cherish, that becomes beloved of ours, and somehow we put a label over the label that's already there, and that label says, this toy right here belongs to me. Some of you riding around in the car that's a toy that you think belongs to you. But I need to read to you Psalms 24 that says, The earth is the Lord, and the fullness of the earth, and they that dwell there in all of it all belongs to you. Now you look at me, you might want to say amen because you know the things that I'm saying is true. But you can know that it's true in your head, but not in your heart. And your heart will give out on you. I know it because some of you treat your car, your children, your clothes. Your parents, all of these other things, like somehow you did it. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Now, the Holy Spirit comes to me hard and cool and tells me, let me remind you, you got here, and when you came on this side, you were naked. Mm. 
and you had nothing. And when you close your eyes, you ain't going to be able to say, as a matter of fact, not only uh, do you have nothing and nothing belongs to you, but you don't even belong to yourself. I know they sound hard and they're strong, but the Holy Spirit wants to let you know that, 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 that the earth belongs to him. The world, all they it all belongs. It all belongs to God. Yeah. Father looks over to his son. Son looks to his father. He says to him, boy, what do you got like here? I didn't buy it. Your mama didn't buy it. None of your relatives bought that. Sorry. Forgive It. It's just fine. It's fine. Hmm? This is my choice. <coughs> this is mine. Daddy asked him, where you got that from, boy? I didn't ask you that. I asked him, where you did that. But daddy, this is this is mine. Mine. I talk to her every day. I talk to her every night. This is my toy soldier. And nobody can have my toy soldier. Nobody, nobody can have it because I, I name him. I, I, I talk to him when I can't talk to nobody else. I talk to my toy soldier. And nobody else treats me as good as my car soldier. Nobody loves me like my car soldier. Nobody is there for me like my car soldier. Yes, I didn't ask you all that. I asked you where you got that car soldier from, boy. Tell me where you got that car soldier from. He says, but daddy, you don't understand how much this, this, this soldier means to me. You don't understand how much I love this soldier. You can't understand. Nobody knows how I feel about this. I 
made him.
Come on. Irreplaceable. Just irreplaceable. Why? A creator. Why would a creator give a unique one of a kind toy soldier to a child? That's what he asked me. The Bible said, I saw your son crying. He was forgetting our love. I saw your son crying one day, and he had no one around him. I don't know where you were, but he was all by himself. He was on an island somewhere in his own mind and in his own heart and his own spirit, and he was desperate and nobody was satisfied with him. Nobody could give him a smile. Nobody could console him. And I had him to give him. But I had to, I had to start so I knew it belonged to me. <laughs> that I had made with my own hands, with my own mind, with my own heart. <laughs> I had thought maybe I could sacrifice. For why? At least until the little boy can find some joy. At least until the little boy can find some hope. At least until the little boy can find some, some consolation. At least until he can get in a better place. And then I would come back and get my toy soldier. But I was not separated from myself, from my toy soldier. The one that I have loved even since the foundations of the world. And so I put myself to the side and I said, Kim, Kim. And I smiled as though it was, it was all right. I smiled as though. I would be okay with the party, but I must be honest with you, sir. I hear the man tell the Bible, I must be honest with you. That's not a day, not a moment, not a second, not a minute, never a time when I have been apart from my toy soldier that I have not been concerned and hurting and missing and caring and wishing and wanting and desiring for return. Some of you want to know why it was a kid who got your mother. She belonged to him. Some of you want to know why it is that he came and got your sister because she belonged to him. Some of you want to know why it is he came and took my wife or my husband because they belong Yeah, yeah. Right, right. The Lord gave it. Yeah. The Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Why have I come? Some of you look and you say, well, maybe that's not fair. Like, 
It's not bad that a child used to something and then turn around and come in and, and take it back. It's not bad that the next body become happy with something and, and, and feel their life around something and they come along and take it away. And that's the reason why you should never ever become content and satisfied hanging on to temporary things. Yeah. It's all temporary. Yes, yes. It's all going to go. Yes. It's not about whether it's going to go. It is about whether you can praise God while you have a chance. Can you glorify Him while you have the opportunity? Can you maximize the moment? Are you wasteful with your time? Taking things for granted. Thinking that you'll always have a tomorrow. Yes, yes. I'm going to use the name of that name. Yes. Must be honest, we wasted a lot of time. Fussing with people behind. Come on. Joke. Come on. Come on. Allowing the family bombs to be broken based upon some anger that happened 10, 15, what is wrong? Come on. Why is it that we don't understand that it's going to be long after a while? My name's going to come back. I saw the man I know with must flow. Hey. How you feeling? You all right? I feel. Last days. Son. Son.
He says, sir, <coughs> this belongs to you. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lord. See, God's so love the word. only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. He gave us Jesus. Hallelujah. So that we might have yeah, yeah. life. Life more abundantly. Hallelujah. He gave us huh. his best. Thank you. Thank you. So that we can become better. Yes. yes. You ought to at least be able to tell it. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank <laughs> you. 